This video describes the different ways in which you can easily access video using Eagle Eyes Cloud VMS. We take two streams of video from each connected camera, which includes a preview video and the full resolution video. The preview video is a low resolution, low frame rate motion JPEG video. And when we log into the account, what we see at an overview is all of the preview videos. As I scroll down, these cameras load very quickly as they are a low frame rate, low resolution video, which enables me to have a good overview of my account, especially if I have a large amount of cameras connected. The second video is the full resolution video, which is a full frame rate video, an H.264 stream. In order to access that video, I simply click on the video and it will take me to that live full resolution video stream. Beyond that, the first way that video is easily accessible is using our layouts. On the left hand side, we can easily access those layouts so I can view all cameras or the customer can structure these cameras into their own layouts. You can structure these according to areas in a building such as common areas or break areas, which contain the cameras from those particular areas. You can also use these layouts to view cameras within certain floors. So you might create a layout per floor in a building. Or alternatively, you can create a layout per location. So if a customer has five locations, they may create a layout per location, which contains the cameras from that location. The second way that you, that you can easily access video is by adding tags to your cameras or filtering using tags. If I click on tags, and 16th floor, I'm able to see all of my cameras that I've tagged as 16th floor. In order to change these tags, you simply access the camera settings. And I have the option to add my own custom tags. If this was an entrance camera, for example, I would simply add entrance. And once I save that tag, that camera will populate within the entrances tags here. So by clicking on any of these predefined tags, I'm able to see the cameras that contain those tags. That brings us into the third way in which we can easily access video is by using our dynamic filter to search various tags. If I'd like to see my kitchen cameras, I'd simply type kitchen and it will pull up the cameras containing that kitchen tag. I can use multiple tags in the search function so if I'd like to see my kitchen cameras as well as my entrance cameras, I simply type both keywords and it will pull up the cameras containing those tags. This is especially great for customers who have a large number of cameras on their account as it provides an easy way to filter a large portion of cameras by simply using keywords. The last way in which you can filter and view cameras is by using our map feature. And this integration with Google Maps allows us to see geographically where our cameras are located. So on this account, you can see that we have cameras located in four different geographical areas. If I filter according to floor, I'm able to see based on the floor plan where it is that my cameras are located. These cameras are all online, so they're indicated with a green icon. But if any of my cameras are offline, I would see a red camera icon. To access the video, I can click on any of these icons and it will show me the preview video. And if I click again, it will take me to that full resolution live video. The dynamic filter feature also works within this map. So if I'd like to filter um, to see all of my kitchen cameras within the map feature, I'm easily able to search for that keyword and it will show me the cameras within the map. You also have the option to use the satellite view. So if you'd like to use the satellite, you're also able to see within the satellite view where your cameras are located.